Hello, I'm Ash. So you want to get started using the voxel editor in RPG in a box? After you've opened up your project, just go to the voxel editor tab. You can open up any other model or create a new one. Specify whether you'd like your new model to be a tile, object, or character. Give it a name, and you can leave grid size as default, or you can change it if you know what dimensions you'd like your model to be. But you can think of these as the boundaries or the canvas in which you will be creating your model. Hit OK, and the program will ask you if you'd like the tile to be passable or impassable. We'll make this one passable. This can always be changed on the map later. We are now looking at our 3D canvas. Click and hold the right mouse button to change the camera position and view this from different angles, or use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. You can dynamically change the size of this grid if you need to. All of your tools will be in the lower left hand corner. By default, attach and place voxels is selected, so all we have to do is select one of the colors in the palette. You have several different color palettes to choose from in the editor and you can also load your own. If you need a specific color and it's not included in your palette, you can click on this color graphic here and it will bring up an RBG color picker. Set your color and your brush will have that color now. Let's get started drawing a tile. In the 3D grid space, your cursor will always highlight one of these squares along the X, Y, or Z axes. Clicking on the square that's highlighted will add a cube. This is a voxel. If you click on a space and drag, you can create an area of voxels. This is because our mode is set to box. If you want to set that to voxel, try clicking and dragging, and your results will look more like this. There's one more painting mode called Face. We'll look at that in a moment. Since I'd like to make a ground tile that is a bit grassy, I'm going to select a green color, start in the top left corner of the bottom, click and drag while in box paint mode to fill in the whole tile. Now I could technically be done right now. I've created my first RPG in a box tile, but I've decided this should have a little bit of decoration. So I'm going to click the gray color and add a couple of rocks represented by gray cubes. I think I've added one too many rocks. To delete your voxels, you can go to the red X icon under model tools. And now any voxel you click will be deleted. Your cursor will always highlight the faces of the voxel that's going to be affected. I think my camera angle is a little awkward, so I'm going to click down the middle mouse button and hold it while I move the mouse. That's a little bit better. Now I want to save this tile as is. Under voxel editor and to the left, there will be a tiny blue save disk icon. Click that to save your model. And now in our tiles tab off to the right, our tile is there. I just took a look at the grass tile that is included with RPG in a box though, and now I feel like my tile could use a little bit more variation in color. If you'd like to change the color of the voxels that are already there, you can click on the paint voxels button, select your desired color from the color palette, and commence painting. Now might be a good time to show you what the face paint mode does. Select your desired color and click on any part of the model. Click on your model and it will fill the entire face with that color, kind of like the paint bucket tool. Now I've created an alternative to my grass tile and I want to place down a couple of large rocks. I'm going to change the paint mode to box. And now I'd like for this rock to have a little bit of overhang. You can continue to add to layers up to the height of the grid itself. And if for any reason you decide the dimensions of your grid aren't big enough, you can dynamically change them right here. We can create a model up to 32 by 32 by 48. That's 32 voxels across, 32 voxels down, and 48 voxels high. That seems a bit big for my tile, so I'm going to set it back to 16, 16, 16. So for my rock, I've just stacked layers of voxels. And now I can show you the move tool. If you don't have any particular voxels selected, you can take the move tool and move your entire tile. Position it until you get it the way you want it looking. But if you select certain voxels using the selection tool, then use the move tool, you can move the voxels by themselves. In this way, you can create voxels that are suspended in midair. And something to note, once you begin moving your voxel selection, you can only move them one dimension at a time. But no problem, just click on them again and drag them the direction you need them to go. If you're having trouble moving your voxel selection the direction you need it to go, you can try adjusting your camera angle. That's how I was able to get these voxels to move upwards. Satisfied with my new variant on my tile, I can now click the multiple blue disc icon in the top left corner of the voxel editor tab, which will save as. My tiles are sorted alphabetically, so I'm going to give this one the same name with rock at the end so that it will appear near my old tile. You can double click on any of the voxel models that exist to edit their appearance and create variations of your own, making it very easy and fun to use your new tiles in your maps. You can even edit the characters. Here I have the paint bucket tool selected and the all frames option checked. I picked a nice red color and now we can change the color of Justin's shirt. I notice how only his shirt will change. That's pretty neat. If we play the animation, we can now see that all of the frames have been updated to reflect our new color choice. 
By replacing colors in this way, you can quickly create many new characters to play with in your RPG in a box creation. An even quicker way to do this is to apply a completely different color palette to your model. You can do this by selecting your new color palette under Model Tools. Then click on the Apply Palette button right here, and you will be given the opportunity to specify which of the new palette colors will replace the old ones. You can apply to all frames, hit OK, and we've got a new Windows themed alternate Justin, and indeed, all of the frames have been updated to reflect our new color selection. Depending on the orientation of your camera, you can build upward, outward, or inward. And using other tiles as a base, you can quickly create 3D voxel meshes. Just by randomly clicking around the grid, I've managed to create something that I think would look pretty fitting for some rock formation. Now, I can tidy it up a bit. This is by no means an exhaustive tutorial on how to use the voxel editor, but I hope it does provide you with some quick foundation that allows you to get your creativity flowing. This is a very fun tool to play with and immediately rewarding. That's it for now. I hope you found this very simple walkthrough to be useful. Please comment anything you'd like down below, questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.